Hi, my name's Colin Smith of uh, Falsetti Smith Guitars and uh, I just wanted to show you this uh, guitar I've just finished and this is my first guitar I've built, first acoustic guitar I've built and um, this has come from uh, inspiration from my father who built many years ago when I was a young child uh, a guitar, he was a tool maker and engineer and he decided to make a guitar and he's been on at me for many years to make an acoustic guitar because uh, I have a love of woodwork and uh, inlay work and he said it would be just a wonderful project for me to have a go at and um, I decided to do that and this is the result this is serial number 001 of Falsetti Smith Guitars and um, it's uh, a standard steel string dreadnought style um, with extra inlay work, a lot of mother of pearl work and the design here um, I got inspiration from the guitar luthier artist William Laskin. I purchased his book and saw his inlay work and was just amazed by what he did on the fretboards and the headstock. So I decided to have a go at doing some inlay work on this first guitar build. Um, my inspiration came from my wife's love of hummingbirds that we follow in our garden. Um, that's why I have the hummingbird here feeding from the flowers and the uh, hummingbird in its nest and then one male up here in flight. So um, you're going to see a preceding slideshow of me building this over the last year and uh, at the end of the video there will be a friend of mine and co-worker who comes around and plays it for me because I don't know how to play a guitar but obviously you can build them reasonably well. So I hope you enjoy the slideshow and the first picture you'll see will be of my father's guitar back in the 60s he made with my mother holding it. Hope you enjoy it.
Well now I'm out to, uh, I've got to an easy part now, I feel on this guitar project I've uh, finished all the inlay work, <laughs> it's ready for threading, so uh, now it's just uh, shaping the back of the neck now which is kind of nice, a nice, a little easier project I feel for me. Um, it's going to be kind of fun. I've already kind of shaped the heel here and got the uh, heel cap on there with some inlay work in it. And uh, got my little templates here to gauge the, uh, the radius on the back of the neck. And, uh, and I'll say it's kind of fun because I like doing this by hand. And uh, so I'm uh, going to use a variety of tools here uh, draw knives. Uh, rasps, various cabinet makers rasps, so good carving chisels. And this is really cool. This I'm going to be using for a bit. Um, this is my granddad's draw knife that my dad inherited and then he gave to me when I recently visited him. This thing's probably from the 1930s. Cuts beautiful. So we're going to do a little bit of this first. So you see how we go. It just it, it just cuts so nice and clean. Just a joy to use something like this. Just cuts through it so easy. And as I'm cutting it, I'll just be just checking with the gauge or so. Well, how I'm going to shape it. Well, the uh, next stage of this guitar is um, doing the threading and uh, I've done a radius fretboard, 20 inch radius, not much of a radius but what I feel confident doing at the minute and um, but we have to radius these uh, frets. So I've got a book of uh, jigs and fixtures for building guitars and I had this nice little fret bender so I made this up and uh, I have to say it works quite well, as you can see. You can buy these fret benders in the Luthier supplies for like $150 and I just made it out with wood wheels, wooden wheels and, and there you go. And you get a nice 20 inch radius fret ready for cutting to dimension. So, pretty cool.
Right up. Well, we're at the uh, stage I really love is uh, first coat finish, and um, I've been reading some tips on how to finish these. I've decided to finish this uh, guitar with the neck and the uh, body separate. Um, I think it's just a little easier for me first time doing this guitar. So um, lots of different finishes you can use: oils, lacquers, and all that kind of stuff. I don't like lacquer because it looks like plastic. And um, so what I'm going to use is a finish that um, a lot of luthiers are starting to use now. It's called True Oil, the gunstock oil. And I've heard it said this stuff is if it's good for a hundred year old shotgun or rifle, then it's good enough for a new guitar. So I've been using it for years on gunstocks and uh, I know how to use it very well and I'm confident with it. So, and it's uh, very easy to apply. Just wipe it on and uh, let it dry overnight. and. Do another coat, do another coat, a little bit of sanding, another coat, another coat, and just keep doing it until you like the finish. So it's very simple, just nice clean lint three cloth. And you just the secret with it is just apply it very thinly. It's almost like French polish in a way, but not, not the difficulty. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit going on. So I'm just gonna start on the neck here, on the uh, heel, and just rub it in, you can see the Beautiful, it's a lovely colour it comes up. So, um, let's see if it's really easy to apply. Just rub it in. That's, that's all I'm doing, just a small amount. I think this is the best one of the best stages in woodwork when you see the colour come out of the wood. It's just the just my favourite bit. It really brings everything to life. So yeah, and uh, I suppose I'll be probably about two weeks doing this I think. So we'll get the finish I like. Uh, but you can bring this stuff up to a real real high gloss. Uh, I'll probably go, I don't want a matte finish, but I'll go somewhere in between. I'll probably go for a satin finish on the guitar, I think. I'll see how I feel it might. The gloss definitely uh, brings out the uh, grain in the wood. So, but anyway, you can see. Nice colour. Looks very nice. So, okay, that's it.
Okay, well here we are. The kind of guitar's cracked along here. I've got all the finish done and everything on, and, um, and now I've kind of put the first string on, and uh, of my first guitar, and the bass uh, bass string. I'm still setting up the nut and the saddle, and obviously, and uh, putting the slots in the bridge. But but I've got this, which is kind of cool. <laughs> so. It actually makes a sound. Kind of a nice sound, so I'm pretty pleased with that so far. So anyway, that's it. So I've got to start working on the nut and getting the slot put in that, but it's getting there. Right, we're recording. Okay, we've just seen the slideshow of me making my first guitar, and uh, and now we have my friend and co-worker Rhonda, who I've promised would be the first <laughs> person to play this, and, um, and she's playing and I'm it. And like one. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to leave her to play a little bit. Go over that way. Yeah. Yeah. Your guitar has excellent tone. Oh, thank I you. love it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's absolutely stunning. Wow. Oh. Do you think it's loud, Rhonda? It sounds loud to me. Is it? Is no, it? Is it? Is it? Not is, it loud. is this a nice? Just Are a nice. Still recording. Yes, I'm still okay. recording. So. Yeah. Can you like edit stuff out if you want to? I'm just gonna. Okay. Yeah. No problem. I think it's perfect. Uh, I love it. It's almost too beautiful to play because it's like, you know, you don't want to play it hard and nick anything or scratch yeah. anything, I but know, it's an instrument. Yeah. Yeah, the instruments are meant to oh, be no, played. No. Boy, what a beautiful instrument this is. Oh, thanks. That's what Blaine said to me. He said it should be in a museum, art museum. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I made that and it sounds so good. Yeah. It doesn't the yeah, may look better now someone's playing it. it uh -huh. You know, it looks nice now someone's Sing love songs 
you'll wake my mother. <laughs> She's sleeping here right by my side. And in her right hand, a silver dagger. She says that I can't be all right. That's an old folk song. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shows the inlay now. You see it? Yeah, yeah, it's glowing. Oh, love your guitar. <laughs> wow. It's going to be so cool to send my dad. Yeah. yeah. He's going to be so excited to see this. is 